What's up everyone? This is Bricks for you, and today we're taking a look at a rather old at this point Man of Steel set. I believe it was from 2013. I'm getting years all mixed up, but it has three minifigures. I believe we sold it for $20 when it came out, and it's a very cute little set. I mean, look at that. Oh, okay, now it doesn't work. Okay, H has 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 a flick feature. I I swear, I swear, I swear this works well. It doesn't really. But first up, we're just going to look at this little escape pod on the side. Let's just focus camera. Okay. There's two little guns at the front. A little area that you can place one minifigure. Let's say you're meant to place Lois Lane. Right in there. It's actually really neat because the chair can actually move up and down. My camera focuses well. It doesn't focus too well on some of these more darker things. But you also have these cool engines at the back. Stickers. Yippee. <laughs> now, on the box, it shows the escape pod, like, moving off of here. I'm not entirely sure you do that without, you know, collapsing another part of the set, but, yeah. So, this is your Lois Lane minifigure. Has this smile I really dislike, but let me just get her hair off. Back of the head. Very simple minifigure by today's standards. You know, no, not even any leg printing, which... I guess it's also par for the course of Marvel sets these days. So, um, This is back when LEGO DC actually could compete. But here is a really cool figure for the set. And this is the Henry Cavill Superman. Yeah, I just love this suit. It's actually hard to pick up my camera because, again, it's rather dark. But you can just see the back, of course, he has his laser vision. Using, of course, the now classic Superman hairpiece. We have General Zod, who has this amazing... Okay, this is going to be another one. It's going to be a little hard for me to film properly. Just because it's hard because of the light. But has this amazing helmet right here. It's, again, pretty hard to get a good close-up just because of the colors on it. Oh, and of course, now my camera focuses right as I said that. It's an amazing mold. And now we have General Zod himself with, again, that really just excellently molded chest piece that we just wouldn't see for a film these days. You know, I mean, I guess we did get some stuff from Lightyear, but those parts were all able to pretty much be reused across the sets. But these two actually interact with each other in a pretty cool way, looking like that. So, And we also had a uh, Krypton gun in this line. Looked pretty cool. And General Zod himself gets this pretty cool minifigure. So, you know, the suit looks very similar to Superman, of course. It actually can be used for a black suit Superman custom if you really want to. But has just a very, again, basic laser eyes, back head printing. And a bonus third figure, but Jor-El. You know, it doesn't actually come in the set, but I just thought I could review him here. Pretty much the same thing as Superman suit, but actually with the brown. This is my favorite DC minifigure. Uh, maybe except for Supergirl. I just really love this figure so much. It's it's so cool. You might see this in an upcoming list video. Just saying. Here we have the actual build itself. One of my all-time favorite LEGO features. I love when I put these in sets. Sliding doors. Sticker. Sticker. You can see a sticker with the escape pod controls. Another sticker. Little um, walkway coming out. And flick feature. Yeah, they, they were... Oh, that's what you're meant to do. Yeah, they don't work that well. I mean, flick features were never that great to begin with, but... Yeah, they've not aged well either. But yeah, thank you all for watching. This has been the very simple now Man of Steel Black Zero Escape. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.